how are you? I'm good. How are you, Dr. Katie? Good, good. So I see that we have a 3.30 appointment today. Yeah. Okay, so could you verify your full name and date of birth? Yes, first name is Ivy B, last name ASMR. Date of birth okay. is February 25th, okay. 1992. My sister was born one day before that. Oh. So. Great, so tell me what brings you in today. So the other day I was working out, trying to get back to the gym, mm -hmm. to my workout routine. Sure. I think I just pulled uh, something on my shoulder. I was doing sure. this movement with a dumbbell up here. Oh, wow, okay. And um, I didn't think too much of it the day sure. that happened. It was a little bit sore. I thought it was just normal, like mm -hmm. muscle yeah. soreness. But it's been there for, say, like a couple of weeks. Oh. And it just doesn't go away, so... A couple of weeks. And so it, you don't feel that soreness evenly on both sides. It's definitely specific yeah. to... Okay. mostly this side and yeah it's like when i do these movements mm. um i can feel it like it's not right. it's not paralyzing i can still move it but it's, it's, it's just attention. uncomfortable okay and so you said it was a couple weeks ago yeah so you, your workout was a couple weeks ago when did the pain uh start so at first it was just i thought it was just normal muscle sure. pain from working mm -hmm. out um so I would say like starting the next day, the next it was day. hurting, but at that point my right shoulder was hurting too. So I thought so it's normal. Tell. Okay. Um, but yeah, like I, I guess maybe after a couple of these, my right shoulder was back to normal. Okay. And the left one was still a little bit sore. It's okay. So let me see. How, how would you describe your pain? Was it like um, dull? Is it shooting pain? Is it throbbing? I think it's pretty dull it's like a dull pain that okay. it's not um like i said it's not paralyzing it's just there sure yeah does it hurt any specific time of day more than others um i think maybe in the morning because i haven't like done many movements with it okay it's a bit more tense and also that's, that's common that's good to know that it hurts more in the morning because that tells me that you probably did pull something if it was hurting like weirdly in the afternoon and at night if it was like some kind of piercing throbbing pain we would have to look further into that but i think that i can see you today and it's gonna turn out okay um so on a scale of zero to ten let's say right now how would you rate it um I'd say maybe a three. A three, okay. Okay, so we talked about it's pretty constant then. Yeah. It's constant, okay. And I, I haven't worked out, at least not my shoulders since then. That's good, that's good. I, yeah, I would minimize all movement in this area for a while. Um, so have you tried anything for pain relief? Um, I took some ibuprofen the first couple of days after that. I was, okay. as I said, like it's not paralyzing, yeah. um, so I could like go on without painkillers try not to take too much yeah yeah okay so what did, was the ibuprofen working i guess it helped a little bit so, well, okay how many milligrams were you on 200 200 okay so it was a pretty low dosage do you have any allergies to medications i should know about no for your prescriptions okay great any medical history like hypertension that i should be aware of no not really okay all right so I'm going to sanitize my hands and I'm going to take a look. Um, and if you did pull something, I'm going to be doing some manipulation to try to get into those tendons and try to um, stimulate the healing process. Okay. For sure, yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. Would you like some hand sanitizer? Yourself? Sure. Sure. Thank you. It's lavender. Mm, it smells really good. Yeah. So, sometimes it just, you need blood flow um, to be brought to that area. But I'll, I'm also going to check on your skin for any signs of anything that's normal. Okay. 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 So, right now, I'm going to just palpate the humerus. I'm going to be just inspecting the skin a little bit. Okay. Any 
changes to the skin since the paint started? Mm, I didn't really notice anything. Okay. The skin looks very good, very well perfused. I don't see any signs of eczema or anything to be worried about there. So I'm just going to gently start by rubbing and stimulating this area and doing some quick percussions, okay? So just relax okay. and you close your eyes. Okay, so just relax and let me know if you feel any pain, okay? just feeling for any external lumps or bumps or anything visible here on this side. I'm checking to see if the shoulders are equal and even. It looks like there's not one that's higher than the other, so that's very good. Um, could you touch your chin to your chest so I can see and look for any signs of scoliosis or abnormal curvatures of the spine? Are you having any pain in your neck area? Is there anything radiating, radiating down here? Um, I guess maybe in this area. A little coming a down little here, sense. sure. All right, let me perfuse and percuss that. So I'm receiving equal responsive vibrations on these sides, which is good. I don't see anything external that would indicate the need for surgery. Great. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to examine your clavicle. You can close your eyes, making sure that one side of your shoulder isn't higher than the other. I see your skin looks very good. I don't see any signs of swelling, but I'm going to be feeling just to make sure on both sides. Okay. Alright, I see the clavicle is very much in. responses. Absolutely. Okay. Now I'm going to just do a quick measurement of the symmetricality of your clavicle. Face your clavicle to your shoulder. And I see... Okay, it is... It looks to be very even and well-defined. So that's good. I'm seeing a base of 15 centimeters. This matches perfectly to the other side. All right, very good. So, I'm just going to do some slight rolling, um, especially to the part of your shoulder that's impacted on the front, just to loosen up those nerve endings to stimulate quick healing. So, just relax. Okay. muscles right here. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. Good. It, just, it always feels better when you breathe deeply and mindfully. Really breathe in the feeling. I know sometimes we tend to tense up our shoulders in our day-to-day -day lives and well that is not the cause of what is ailing you definitely doesn't help the healing process when something does happen so I'm just trying to release all of that pent up energy here okay, I see the section here that might be a little tight okay very good 
just continuing that going downward very good let me know if this hurts at all or if the pressure is too much I don't want to cause any additional soreness but it feels perfect great Double check that the symmetricality is still there. Okay, that's great. So now I'm going to do some more examinations from the back, if that's okay. Okay, okay. All right. I'm just going to give a gentle press on your shoulders and really feel the scapula in your back here. Mostly my left side. Okay. How about here? Is that kind of more the pain? Yeah, kind of like that. Right, here. Show, show me with your hand where the base of the pain is. Like, where would you say? So, it? right here. I'd say somewhere around here. Sure. Okay. Okay. Very good. Um, so, I see both shoulders are even. So Good. I'm going to okay. I'm going to be putting a little bit of um, gel form of biofreeze on your back. Just a little bit. It's gonna feel a little cold, but that should go away after the first few seconds, okay? Okay. Alright, and this should Stimulate the healing. All right, it's a little bit cold there. Okay. This contains properties that will see you should feel a little bit of a cold feeling. And I'm going to be just rolling that into the skin to make sure that it seeps in deeply. How does that feel? That feels amazing. It does. Good. Very good. applying a little cold pressure here. It's going to feel extra cold, but it's really good to stimulate the muscles that way. Okay, good. Okay. And just let me know if you feel anything too uncomfortable. It should feel a little tingly, um, but definitely you shouldn't be feeling any sharp pains. Yeah, no, it feels okay. amazing. Okay, good, good. All right, so we're really going to start getting in there then, getting into that portion that was feeling pain. flashlight so nothing to worry about here. I'm just going to take a quick look. Checking here. Okay. I'm seeing no redness, no signs of irritation. I don't see any edema, which is very good. We wouldn't want any swelling in that area. Okay. I'm just comparing it to the other side of the skin. It looks the same, so 
looks really good that the external um, skin is very much intact okay okay very good all right So I have a couple of healing stones. This is Labradorite and this is Serpentine and you're going to feel a coldness and this is going to have a little bit more weight to it, okay? You should feel cold and that should get more into the soreness, but just let me know if it's too much, okay? Okay. Okay. Serpentine, but this is really septarian. Look at those words, sound too similar to me. Okay, and down the cavity here. Just gonna do a, a quick rolling sensation to really get the blood flow circulating out of the part of pain and into the rest of your body here. Alright, just relax. Okay. doing some brushing. I'm going to be using a tuning fork to make sure that you feel the correct vibrations and we'll do a quick sensations test, okay? Okay. Alright. Alright, so just look straight ahead and relax. I'm just going to be applying this real quick. And we'll go from there. Okay. Brushing away that points just to stimulate quick healing. Go all the way down. Okay. Alright, and I'm going to brush this on the other side. Just let me know if you feel it equally as you did on the other side. Yeah, it feels yeah, the equal. same. It's the same. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to give you a few quick brushes here just to Make sure that you're feeling things evenly. Alright. Okay. So I'm going to take this tuning fork and I am going to put it against you after I feel a vibration. So you're going to feel a vibration whenever I set this against your um, shoulder blade. Tell me when it stops or especially if you don't feel anything, let me know. But you should feel something and let me know when it stops. Okay. I feel it. Good, good, good. It stopped. Very good, okay. Let's do that again. I feel that. You feel that? Mm -hmm. It stopped. Okay, good. One more and then we'll switch to the other side, okay? Okay. Just let me know. Same thing. Feel yeah, it. I feel that. It stopped. Okay, two more times then. I feel it. It stopped. Alright, and one more. I feel it. It stopped now. Very good. So judging by the response from the tuning fork, it seems like your sensations are intact. We just want to make sure, so I'm going to do a quick sharp and dull test, which I will explain to you. Okay. Okay. So. 
I'm going to be saying that this is a sharp sensation. This is dull. Okay. Do you, do you understand the difference between those two? Do you feel them differently? Yeah. Okay, would you like me to do it on your hand or do you think you, you've um, got it? I just wrote yeah, a question. Okay. So that would be dull and this okay. is sharp. Okay. Okay, so just let me know which sensation you feel and I'm going to be focusing on this area, okay? All right. of your back, do you feel that on? Left. Your left side, okay, good. What about this? Dull on the right on side. On the right side, okay. What about this? Sharp on my right shoulder. Great. We're going to just do a few more, and we're, that's really good so far. Okay. Dull on the left. Mm-hmm. Sharp on my right. Okay. Dull on the right. Okay. Okay, good. So... Now that we have that area stimulated with the rolling and rubbing, I want to do a few quick movements on your shoulder that might press things back into place for you, okay? Okay. So if you could just turn around for me and just face front and we'll get that going, but trust me, it won't be anything too harsh. Okay. Okay. So, so I'm going to be applying a bit of pressure and gently pulling your shoulder back. You shouldn't feel any harsh pain. Okay. It should feel like more of a release, okay? But just let me know how it feels. Okay. All right, so just relax and look straight ahead or close your eyes even. Okay, and three, two, one. Feels good. Okay, and three, two, one. Oh, let's keep it back here. I'm just gonna rub it slowly. Gentle snapping back into place. We're gonna do it one more time, okay? Okay. Alright. And the side. Okay. Mm. Alright. That there. It's very good. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna try a bit more complicated move. So what I want you to do is just uh, if you face me, if you could put your hands okay. behind here. Great, just like that. I'm going to gently lift and pull you back. It should feel very relaxing, um, but we're going to start slow, okay? Okay. Okay. And three, two, one. And back. Oh, that feels good. Okay, let's do it. Two more times. Okay, no pain, right? No. Okay. I think it actually crept a little bit, but oh, felt really good. Yeah, okay. Three, two, one. down and relax. So real quickly then, I'm just going to take a listen to your breathing in your back just to make sure that it's steady, okay? After those okay. exercises you should have a very good um, should have very good feeling in your lungs and all of that, but I'm just going to take a listen, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, so deep breath in and exhale. Deep breath in, and exhale, good, 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 okay, one more time here, deep breath in, and exhale, alright, so I'm going to do that on the other side real quick, okay, do deep breath in, very good, and exhale, okay, deep breath in, and exhale, and deep breath in. And exhale. Okay. Fantastic. So, I think we're going to wrap this up and we're just going to talk about how that went for you, okay? Okay, great. Okay, so how are you feeling, Ivy? How was that for you? That was amazing. Thank great. you so much. Okay. Did you find that the oil I put on, the temperature oil, did that help you? 
Yes, definitely. Okay, I'd like to prescribe you with some to take home. That's okay. Okay. So I'm going to set you up with that. Um, and I'm going to advise that you take it easy at home. Do you have any cold packs in your freezer? Yeah. Okay, if not, you can get some at Walgreens and we can definitely prescribe some to you, you know, if you really uh, feel like you need some extra heavy duty ones. But okay. Okay, so we can go ahead and do that. And just apply the cold packs maybe two or three times a day. Okay. Okay, Sounds and good. just minimize any activity in that area. I wouldn't go to the gym or work out at all for the next few days and then slowly reintroduce it back. Um, I don't know what weight you were using when you were doing this um, pull-up exercise, but definitely start very small. Okay. If you attempt that again, definitely. Okay. And um, I would I would just ease off of that for a while because it's sometimes when, when you get the pain back here and you don't take it easy, it can develop into something far worse. But I think we caught this early and uh, you're going to be fine. So um, anything else today that you need? No, that was... That was all. Fantastic. Thank you. Did you feel better? Okay. Yeah, definitely. So we're going to do a follow-up call in a couple of days, and I'm just going to ask you, you know, what's going on. Give me a call if, if you feel any uh, sharp, heavy pain ever, but especially within the next 24 hours, we want to address that. Okay. Okay, so thank you for coming to see me. It was great to, thank you. Great to see Thanks you again. Thank you, Katie. All right. Bye. Take care. Bye.